I called this press conference today to announce that I have filed a write-in candidacy for Governor of Idaho. To give Idahoans a choice to unite this state and restore balance to the state capital. I've been in public service for 15 years, six years as mayor of Sandpoint. One thing that I've learned about leadership is that you have to acknowledge when you make a mistake. Learn from it and move forward. Let me be clear, I take full responsibility for filing my candidacy declaration on the last day before the filing deadline and not verifying my party affiliation before filing. Next time I will file much earlier and verify my party affiliation in advance as I did this morning when I filed my writing candidacy. As for my party affiliation, I am a proud Democrat. Like many Democrats in Idaho, I have to register Republican to have a meaningful choice in the election. See, I live in Bonner County in District 1. This is a very red district. Where often there are no Democratic candidates and rarely a Democratic primary. That means whoever wins the Republican primary wins the election. For many Democrats in Idaho, if you want to have a voice in the electoral process, you have to register as a Republican in order to have a choice to participate at all, as the outcome of the election is often determined in the primary. Having a choice in the electoral process is critical for the health and durability of our democracy, and I take it very seriously. This morning, I officially launched the Right in Shelby Ronstad campaign on the Democratic ticket. I've been aggressively running this campaign since November 8th of last year. I decided to run because Idaho is rapidly moving further and further towards extremism. And Idaho voters deserve to have a choice of whether or not that is the direction that they want to go. Do Idahoans really want to go down the path of House Bill 666 that would jail librarians if they had what some consider object objectionable books? Or legalizing private militias who are accountable to no one but themselves? Or eliminating the Citizens Initiative, legislation that is so extreme the Idaho Supreme Court called it tyrannical? or eliminating the checks and balances protecting our courts from authoritarian overreach. Just yesterday, Governor Little signed an anti-choice bill into law that criminalizes women, doctors, and nurses that he himself believes to be unconstitutional. He himself believes to be unconstitutional and weakens our liberties because it gives more rights to the family of a rapist than it does to the survivor herself. But he signed it anyway. He signed it because he is afraid. He's afraid to stand up to the extremists in his own party. This is not leadership. Signing a bill you don't even agree with because you're afraid of losing the primary. That is cowardly, that is craven. Idahoans deserve a choice in this election on May 17th. Voters will have that opportunity to determine who represents their values, who represents their priorities, and who has the courage to stand up to extremists who are waging a war on women, children, and families. Idaho deserves a choice for better education, access to quality health care and housing that is affordable. You deserve a choice for tax relief for working Idahoans, everyday Idahoans, not just the super wealthy. You deserve a choice for protection of public lands where we hunt 
we fish, we hike and camp. You deserve a choice. For a leader who is willing to stand up for personal liberty, democratic representation, and our constitutional system of checks and balances that is under threat. I am honored to have the support of many democratic supporters and leaders across the state who have fought tirelessly to stand up for our values. Thank you to everyone who could make it out here today and stand with me. And most of all, I am forever in gratitude to my brilliant wife, Katie, who stands by me in solidarity, in solidarity with my commitment to public service, which is rarely easy or comfortable. But public service is essential. It's essential for the success of our democracy. Katie and I know that, and there are many Idahoans out there who are out there serving their communities every day. And for them, we have tremendous respect and gratitude. This campaign, right in Shelby Ronstadt, is about bringing people together. It's about standing up to extremism that is dividing us and hurting Idahoans. We will unite this state and restore balance back to the state capitol.